Hey up everybody, I'm over on my Marford ML7 trial Eva lathe today. Uh, the other day or the other video, I can't remember how long it was now, I did a, a video where I did a custom chopper motorcycle brake plate which took the lathe up to its maximum capacity of 7 inch. Uh, if you've not seen that, take a look back at that. Uh, when I'd done that job, uh, I decided to do my routine maintenance on lathe and uh, when I lifted the cover up for the back gear I found all fibrous material in the well of the trial lever headstock uh, so I'm assuming it's belt material now I've had this lathe for 15 years now I bought it from a chap you've probably heard all this if uh, in my last video if, if you have fast forward but I bought it from a chap uh, I think you were a dentist. Uh, he'd had it in his garage stroke shed uh, and it had hardly ever been used. The only thing that were wrong, he hadn't oiled the saddle here. Everything else was oiled up bar for that bit and it's left a mark where the rust accumulated on the saddle. Just a little mark on the metal. So, uh, yeah, I've had it for 15 years and uh, the serial number on it suggests it's one of the last ML7s to be made. The actual last one was in 1979, um, January I think, the last ML7, and this is approaching that day. So it's got quick change gearbox on it, it's got coolant Bosch and pump etc. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice lathe. Now when I got this lathe, I did check the belts and uh, set all the trial lever mechanism up the belts were like new so I've had it for 15 years now if the belts are ready for changing well I take, I take my hat off to them because I do give this lathe some use and when I say use I mean use I'm, I'm on it all the time so I'm going to take a look at these, uh, I've got to take the headstock off and the trial lever mechanism to, to get to the belts to see them because it's all enshrouded with guards and covers inside and uh, pulleys and springs and tensioners and etc. Uh, don't get put off by that, it's not that technical I don't think. I mean I've not even got a manual on this. I think if you just look at it logically it's quite straightforward. Uh, some people don't like these trial lever lathes, but you know I, f I find it a marvellous bit of kit. I think it's all to do with whether you get the mechanism set correctly. If it's not set correctly, it's probably a bit haphazard. But once it's set right, I think it's marvellous. You, you don't have to mess about lifting covers up to change belts and pulleys over. You just hit them levers and it's more or less instantaneous change from one speed to next. Anyway, uh, what I'll do then, it might it might be more than one video this if I've got if I've got to end up changing the belts. So I'll take the camera off and I'll show you what I found underneath this cover. Yeah so when I lifted the cover up to get to the back gear uh, oil nipples etc I found all this fibrous material in this well of the casting of the trial lever headstock and it's full of this fibrous material so I'm assuming it's belt material now you, you can't actually check the belts without taking the headstock off which isn't a big job but it, it's got to be took off to check them thoroughly you can just see the edge of the first belt and the pulley and after that you can't really see anything else so I'll get the headstock off and it might, it might end up where I've got to change the belts so if, if I have got to, it might end up, you know, uh, more than one video of this. Right, to start with then, I'm going to take the main, uh, the main drive belt off under this cover at the back from the motor. And I, in my case, it's just held on with two studs, one here and one at the, down the side at the back here. Uh, and that's just standard on any Myford lathe, that. It might, it might have a different arrangement on different models, but it, it, you'll still have this, this belt on the back here. So I'm going to take that belt off to release the tension from the counter shaft here. 
once I've got that belt off, there's a screw it, there's a, a bolt here at the back, there's one underneath here, and then that brings the head stock, the tri-lever head stock off. But before I do that, I'm just going to take this front cover off. And there's four screws to undo. Two at the top, two at the bottom, and then this cover lifts off. And then that's what you've got when you've took the first cover off. This is your mechanism. With its three pulleys in. And it's adjusting screws here. Springs at the bottom. Uh, roller bearings there. That pushes the lever and the pulley onto the belt. Then the next job is to release this bottom screw under here and this back screw bolt on the back here. Once they're out, I've already took the nut off of this one and the bolt out of this one. Once they're out, the old job lot lifts off. And it's, it's basically as simple as that to get to take the uh, system off. You don't have to reset everything, it just goes back on and then uh, everything's back to normal. These are the screws to set it. Once they're set, uh, that's it. Obviously if I put new belts on, all these are going to have to be reset because these belts will be, they'll have stretched probably and they may need adjusting here. Then you've got your, your three belts and then this cover here is part of the casting which protects the belts like the bottom one there. That's why you can't actually see the belts without this cover off. Everything's enshrouded in, uh, and covered. Look at all the material here. The belt material in this well. It's, it's just about full of material. And lo and behold, after 15 years of use, it's on, it's on its last thread. You know, and I've not, I've not. It's not affected the lathe. It's, the the lathe's worked just like it's always worked. But look at this belt here. It's just about completely through. Same with this one, I think. In places, uh, this is the worst one. So I'm gonna have to go and have a look on the internet now and uh, order some belts. And once I get them belts, I can, uh, well, I might start dismantling it before the belts come. I'll get the edge, edge stock out and show you how to get all these belts off. <laughs> 